Uh, who was not snowed in? I assume Clues isn't snowed in any worse than usual up there. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. I actually went for a walk earlier. It was it was Ooh. great. Sidewalks are clear, roads are clear. You you may have more snow than I do right now. We, we don't ice. have much, but I'm more worried about the ice than the snow. We have that magical combination of ice and state does not budget for ice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good combination. I'm pretty confident they just take the pickle jars and put a strainer over it so the pickles don't come out and they just dump that brine on the street. And then they have pickles. I mean, the, uh... according to my hippie friend Amanda, pickle juice is like a miracle cure for all of the things. It is. Yeah. It's actually useful for a lot of stuff. Oh, God. You too? Uh, well, it's useful for pickles. and It's useful if you have... Um... A headache as a result of having low sodium, which is something that I learned when I did keto. And apparently it's good for uh, muscle cramps, according to Amanda and random other person in the Discord. Like, yeah, my mom drinks not heard pickle that, juice for muscle cramps. And I was like, what? I've not heard that before, but I mean, maybe. I don't know. I guess it depends on why you have cramps. Hmm. Like, wait, are you drinking the pickle juice or are you pouring it on the muscle? I'm pretty that's sure that's going to be where I determine how skeptical it. I should be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't think they're, they're I don't think it's a, like, you're supposed oh, to Oh, my hand. It. Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> that's it right there. That is true. Random KO pointed <laughs> out for the record, pickle juice is not a cure for COVID. Accurate. That's definitely true. Like most things aren't a cure for COVID cuz it's a virus and they don't there's no such thing as cures for viruses. Yeah. As the old saying goes, you can't cure the common cold. Man. Hey, look, I got Bill and Clues back. It's true. Hey. And it wasn't even my idea this time. I, I randomly bring it up. I, I randomly bring it up. Hey, you, you guys, we should, I miss you guys. We should do a stream. And they're both like, yeah. And then no one ever says anything. And then randomly today, Bill was like, hey, since we're all snowed in, well, since Joey and I are snowed in, you guys want to yeah. do a stream? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I mean, the nice thing about being snowed in is that conflicting plans don't exist. Because we kind of were told for like a week that we were going to be snowed in. So that helps. I didn't realize it was going to be like as long lasting as it was. Yeah. Because last time we got snow, you remember, Bill, I, I don't even know if you guys got much of it over there, but we got snow it's real cool. hard for a few hours. And then the sun yeah. came out and it was all gone by that night. All right. January 1st, 76 degrees. January 3rd, snow. Mm-hmm. The ground was not going to let us keep that snow. <laughs> hey, Pinball Witch just resubbed for the 52 months. And she said, 52 weeks! Didn't That's you like make that DC same joke last time? I think you did. You were like, well, it's almost a year. Wait. I remember Hello, things. Pinball Witch. Yeah, oh, also, feels like a DC ad. Bill and Clues, uh, I, I mentioned to Mom that I was going to stream with you guys. And she said to tell you both hi. <laughs> hi, Chewie's mom. Awesome. Hi, mom. <laughs> How have you been? I haven't seen you since the sky went black. Nighttime? Oh, yeah. It was the eclipse. I saw her I... after the eclipse. Yes, Pinball Witch, this is a clean shave in clues. Over uh, Christmas break, I decided to shave off the goatee and mustache. I had him for about, I don't know, three or four years, and I thought, eh, time for a change. You, you wanted to pass for not evil? Or, or... I am the clues from the Mirror Mirror universe. That's why I said pass for not evil. Yeah. So look, here we all are. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to be straightforward with you, chat. I don't know what's going on in Magic. I just know that it released a D&D &D supplement that's bad. Well, is it that it's bad or does it just have like a couple of bad things? Uh, it's that it's um should only really be used by itself and not with the rest of D and D, but was marketed as if it was a supplement for all of D and D. Okay. So yeah, I've heard like, there's it, like one spell in particular that just breaks the game. It, it's got a few busted slash cool spells in it, depending. It's just that if you market something like it's for the entire game and it's really not, that upsets people that spend thirty to forty dollars on it. <laughs> I understand. 
So, what have we all been up to? They, they know what I've been up to. So, but what have you guys been up to? Um, I've been, aside from the usual work busy like I always am, I've been playing more of Xenoblade Chronicles on the Switch, which I've been enjoying forever because I never finish anything. Um, not true. I, I've I, I know for a fact you finished things. That's true. It's been a while since I finished like, things. Like you finished Spider Man. And then you finished FF7. Yep. And I, then you I finished, finished the two good PS5 games that came from the PS4. Yeah, and then I you finished, finished the two things that supplemented them on the PS5. <laughs> yep. And they were both amazing. I should probably turn on my PS5 Spider Man at some point to get the stuff from the new movie. Oh, since I think they in? added like a skin from the new movie or something. Ooh. Should probably do that. Schmancy. Yeah. But no, you're right. I, I did finish both of those, and they were great. And then I went back to playing Xenoblade, my long-term JRPG that I spend a lot of time on, because Xenoblade is still amazing. Um, so to that, I've watched a bunch of stuff. I can talk about TV and movies, I guess. I got that going for me. Although I haven't seen the new season of The Witcher, and I don't know when I will, because I'm not really in a hurry. Same. No spoilers. Yeah, I'll, I'll see it at some point, I'm sure. I, the yeah, I'm the first season. I don't. I don't really care. Like, the first season was neat, but... It, the way that they did it sort of annoyed me, and so... My understanding is that it's in chronological order this time. So that is what I've heard, yeah, yeah. But I just, I'm not invested in the Witcher franchise, so, like, I'll watch it eventually. Even though when I see Henry Cavill now, I think, well, there's Geralt of Rivia, or Geralt... How do you say his name? Uh, is it GIF or JIF? <laughs> uh, Skippy. JPEG. Right, yeah, JPEG of Rivia. But I, when I see him, I see The Witcher. I don't see Superman, and I don't see the guy from uh, the last Mission Impossible movie who, like, cocked his arms like they were shotguns. I still see that one meme where Aquaman is sneaking up on him. That's okay, what I that think too. of yeah, every yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think it's Geralt, I think. I don't know. I watched the first season of that when it came out, and I'm like, man, this is not what I want. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, it's not I that it was bad. I could to watch more. <laughs> I just don't feel like I'm the target audience for this, because they assume <laughs> I've read the books or played the games, or that I also need Sexy Cavill. And, like, you know, my Facebook feed has plenty of people gushing about Sexy Cavill that I don't need to watch the show. I'll just get the pictures there. Hot. I'm kind of glad that we didn't have conventions the year it came out, so I am not sick of the song. Nah. Because that would have been really annoying. I bet. Yeah, that would have been on nonstop loop just by people wandering around. Yeah. It's like, I hate that 2020 didn't get a chance to give me um, the super hype for Final Fantasy VII remaking cosplay form because I really wanted to see a whole bunch of people doing Honey Bee and stuff. But I got to avoid all the Witcher stuff. So I'm, I'm okay. To wash. Um, Fair enough. So, Clues, what no, you been like up the, to? Yeah, go ahead, Clues. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, I spent most of last semester uh, engaged in hopeless bleak despair. Um, yeah, yeah. Popular uh, choice. It's, it is. It is very popular. Um, last semester was a hellish nightmare from just a work standpoint. I was I was overloaded and uh, had a lot of... I, that's, a, that's a technical term for teaching more credit hours than I'm supposed to. Uh, and so I was just busy the whole damn time. I had late night labs uh, three out of four nights during the week. Uh, so I wasn't, my early night, my early night, I was done at seven. Ah, so Jesus. that was great. Yeah. Uh, are Monday you, nights. Are you doing better now? Uh, yeah, much better now. Oh, this, this semester I'm back to a normal teaching load. I was supposed to have a, so here's the way it worked. Okay. This is just to, to look at the behind the scenes in academia. Um, we were kind of shorthanded last semester. And so they're like, Hey clues, do, do you mind? Can we, can we give you a slight overload just to, you know, cover some things, take up the slack. And I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. Sure. And they're like, don't worry. We'll give you a lowered teaching load in the spring semester. No, so they, they were borrowing not. from the future and you know, that doesn't work. Correct. I knew, I look, I knew what was going to happen, yeah. but the classes need to be needed to be taught. Yeah. So, 
Um, it really sucked. I didn't have any nights. It was very, very tiring, and I am so glad that it is over. This semester is much better, so this is nice. Good. Relatively like, straightforward. I, I hear so that far. you're allowed to play video games again. I am. I finally actually have it. I, I have both uh, some time to play video games and some uh, will to play video games, because last semester I just, oh man, I was so tired all the time. Yeah. Uh, so right now, uh, I'm playing God of War, the the 2018 God of War. Dad of and, War. Dad of Boy. Uh, uh, da- dad of Boy. Yeah, I did the the Dad of the Year simulator is what I referred to it at least in the early parts because <laughs> my God, he's a terrible father. I mean, um, I it gets slightly better as it goes on. Question mark. Um, I, mean, I just does he get finished... to do a cameo in Dream Daddies? Because uh, that'd be pretty funny. I, I. I do not understand that reference. So I'm, it is in fact, Teal kills gods. Yes. Uh, I just finished the main storyline for it uh, earlier today, this afternoon when Chewie and Squee were trying to plan this and they sent me a message and I didn't respond for like two hours. I was finishing the main campaign. Um, The thing I will say about the game, and I don't want to give away any spoilers for a game that is now Chex Watch five years old and came out on last generation of uh, a console, but uh, I don't know who is responsible for what I'm about to describe, but I would like to hurt them. At least emotionally. Not it. Probably not physically, but not it. I don't think I did it, but I have to wait for what you described. (laughs) So uh, in the game... (laughs) <laughs> there are uh, eight Valkyries that you have to go around and 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 free. They're stuck in mortal form, and oh, you have to kill them. And they're I very that that's from a completely different mythology. But okay, th- they're very difficult fights. Is okay? is yeah. this going to uh, involve the final one? Yes, it sure is. Okay, it sure is because once you get all eight of them, it unlocks a, a, a ninth one. Again, no spoilers, and uh, that fight. Oh my God, that fight. What the, what the actual hell is what I'm going to say. Cause yeah. I, early on in the game, I dialed it down to the lowest difficulty setting because I don't, I don't need to be punished. I've lived through the past two years. I don't narrative mode, which is a perfectly reasonable way to play video games. Exactly. Yeah. And that mode is called tell me a story. And the difficulty is much more reasonable. You can still die. Like, absolutely. I died several times, even on that setting early in the game, because, you know, I just wasn't quite paying attention or I wasn't, you know, really dialed in. But this fight, oh my God, it is so punishing. Even on that setting, I I spent hours last night trying to get through that fight and uh, about an hour and a half today trying to get through that fight and I still haven't made it. Um, I, I, I got that... Uh, that final Valkyrie down to like a, just a sliver of health once. It's the yeah. best I've done once. And I still died. Mm-hmm. So I don't know who decided that that fight needed to be like just leagues harder than any other fight or who didn't really understand the concept of, I put this on easy mode. I'd like to feel like I'm good at video games, but no, yeah. they, they they don't. So I'm, I'm kind of pissed about that right now. I mean, Admittedly, so as Chewie mentioned, I did play through the PS5 um, DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And it does include a super boss fight um, for the main game, aside from the DLC stuff with Yuffie. And the super boss fight in that, one, you can only do it on hard. They don't do other modes for that. It's on hard. So you have to do it on hard. And two, one of the key elements of this fight is that nearly every move that the enemy has ignores blocking. Nice. Which is a mechanic you learn how to do in the main game, and it's how you survive hard mode, is learning how to block because you can't always dodge things. And it completely ignores that. And um, you also have to finish the fight in under five minutes, or he auto wins. And Naturally. So the difficulty curve from the game takes up giant spike for exactly this one battle. And... It's one of those things where without any curve to get there or any inclination or whatever, you suddenly have to become significantly better at this game for one fight. And then there's nothing left. Like, you hone a bunch of skills that you're never going to use again because you're doing it for one fight. Um, That said, incredibly satisfying when you win. Reminds me of Sephiroth from the Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, it's a lot like that. Once you beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts, the rest of the game is a joke. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I like and to credit for this one, when you defeat the optional super boss and seven remake. They just give you items that let you start every fight with your limit bar full. So they're just like, yeah, you did it. You've done the hard part. We're just going to make the game faster now. <laughs> Everyone in your party can start with a full limit bar every fight. Just do what you feel like. Um, But, like, it's a hard fight. And so I learned just for that fight that if you're playing FF7 Remake at, like, the full potential, like, you really learn how all the mechanics work and you get all the characters right... You're not playing FF7 anymore. You're playing Smash Brothers. <laughs> because Tifa wave dashes around and does absolutely ridiculous nonsense when you're actually playing her to her potential that you will never, ever need to do in any of the rest of the game. To the point where there are videos online of people being like, and then I beat the super boss in 30 seconds with just Tifa. And you're just like, what? And then you watch the video and you're like, oh... You're playing a different game than I am. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. So this uh, this God of War fight, this this last Valkyrie that you fight, each of the Valkyries, they've got their own like special move set. And the only yeah. way you actually beat them is to memorize what moves they do and know when to dodge versus when to block because some things are unblockable. Uh, know when to, you know, close in, when to try and hit them from afar. You, you've got this whole give and take for each of them. And this final Valkyrie decides that, you know what? What if we just took all of the moves of all of the Valkyries that you've played before and we'll just use those on shuffle? So you've got to have like this split second of should I dodge this? Should I dodge away? Should I go sideways? Should I block this? And if you screw it up once, you're not toast necessarily, but man, is it bad. Like You're playing Dark Souls. Uh, well, that's the thing. If I wanted to play Dark Souls, yeah. which I don't, yeah. I would. Yeah, I don't get a lot of satisfaction out of games like that at this point in my life. Yeah. I pretty much play video games because I like things that have a story where I can walk around and do stuff in the order I want. Sure. Um, which is also why I'm not actually all that big on open world games. Because I feel like most open world games dilute too much of the story to let you do that. And yeah. I need, like rails with small choices along the way um if you're like here's the world go explore it i'm gonna be like i don't know what to do wait there's a quest where i just need to kill 100 chickens all right time to get chicken slayer and then go kill a bunch of chickens and then i'm <laughs> bored and then i stop playing <laughs> like i i feel like whenever you do super open world games it turns into let's go hunt x of thing until it drops y items and that just gets kind of... And, like, Xenoblade does that, and I hate that about Xenoblade, but Xenoblade also has cool time manipulation stuff that makes me entertained regardless. So. Yeah, it, when it I works had, around its flaws. Like, when I had unlimited... Not unlimited, but when I had lots more free time, I... Which is weird, because I have all the free time in the world now, but it's not really free, because I have stuff I need to be doing. But, like, back before I started streaming and even before I started podcasting and all I had to do was go to work, come home, play video games, go to sleep, go to work, come home, play video games, go to sleep. I played like Fallout 3. I played Skyrim. I played the first Red Dead Redemption. I played all of the GTAs up to four. And like, I loved it. But at some point I realized all of these open world games are the same damn thing. They're reskins. Except... Like, except for Ubisoft, which are literal reskins. Yeah. And I went, I, oh, and I've just I lost the interest in it. was about the sixth time I played Assassin's Creed under different names that I decided I didn't want to play Assassin's Creed anymore. Yeah. Because they're the same game with one new mechanic every game, and they release one every year. I feel like if I jumped into one now, it might be different enough, but... Well, now they're really... doing the live service thing, I think, so... Uh, yeah I'm good so that's what I've been doing you know work Fair. existential Sweet. dread and existential God of War. dread yeah P pretty much yeah yeah um I I had been playing some Minecraft when I could find the time because you know once I had a PS5 it was important to play a game from 10 years ago isn't that how the PS5 works <laughs> yeah like, the two games I have on it are PS4 games 
They're not releasing stuff because yeah. they don't have enough systems out to do that. Uh, did you, uh, I, I, I assume you played Horizon Zero Dawn at some point on some system? I own three of them, but no. Now that the new game's coming out, I have a reason. <laughs> okay, you should definitely play yeah. that game. That is very, That's very good. Thing. Like, I own three copies of it because people kept gifting it to me when it was $10. Sure. And that's great. But I'm going to get the one that's like super crazy HD instead. So like I'm still going to have three unplayed copies of it. Sure. But that'll probably be one of the games that I jump into once I finish Xenoblade. Yeah, so. that's fair. It's it's a really good game. I really enjoyed that. That's another yeah. one of those like diluted open world games, though, just so you know. I'm aware. Yeah. Okay. That's part of why I haven't jumped into it yet. Yeah. Um, Like I was telling Chewie earlier... Once I finish this, I'm probably just going to be like, okay, I've done enough RPG collect everything. I'm going to play Smash Brothers, which is Smash Brothers, but in the game mode I'm playing, it's still kind of RPG collect everything. Because <laughs> that's what video games are now. It really is. It's mission-based. That's how based. we've had run times. It's, it's mission-based Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, which is admittedly what I want to do. Yeah. So. Let me know when you get to Sheriff, <laughs> by the way. Okay. You can use the DLC characters and that, right? I have no idea there weren't any when I played it, but Got I it. actually no. I assume you can't because you unlock all the characters as you go. I assume you have so to unless they've inserted too, them like, somewhere. It would be nice if I can play the DLC characters because, like I was saying, I kind of just want to play the whole thing with Sora and pretend it's a good Kingdom Hearts game because I haven't played one of those in like twelve years, and I played three, so <laughs> <you know. laughs> harsh. <laughs> Three is better than people give it credit for, but it still has a lot of problems. And Phineas says, I mean, I have a brand new computer, and the main thing I've played is a SNES game. That's Not even a SNES game. A You've game. played a, a weird, like, remix of a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> yeah? Which one? He's talking about Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise. The uh, randomizer yeah. slash speedrunning right. thing that's uh, Final Fantasy IV, which, again, right. is fascinating to watch. There's a lot of things I would like to watch and not play, and I think that could be one of them. You gonna be okay there, Chewy? I'm just dying slightly. It's just karma, don't worry well, about it. Well, that's what we're all doing. Yeah, I, I, mean, I accelerated for a second there, but I'm I'm good now. Yeah, don't don't do that. Mm. Sure, dying is my namesake's joke. Ow. Razorback said Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn was uh, my favorite game of 2017, a bit more on the rails compared to some other open world games. Oh, good. And cool. that I'll is that, that is absolutely true. It, I'll take it that. does point you in, in a direction. Like, and... for clarification, it took me a while to realize this, but, like, my ideal game is actually some step just a little bit before Last of Us. Like, I want to be on plot direction rails where the story continues to give me stuff as i play it every time i sit down but like i don't like the idea that i can never go back to an old location i don't like that that bothers me i think you just um, play hades that's what i'm told <laughs> it is pretty good i i did start hades everyone in the world told me i should play hades and i'll i'll get it's to it pretty good wait squee now that you have the uh the, the ps5 i think you can play if you haven't played it you can play the god of war game it's just included. It's one of the like I mean, PlayStation. I yeah, yeah, you should you should do that. I think. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I really need to be Dad of War. Uh, I think I'm okay. All Especially right. given you've just sold me on all these Valkyries that wandered in from a neighboring country's mythology to ruin your uh, day. Well, Wait, no, no, the whole thing. No, no, no. Is, no. Yeah. The whole thing is Norse mythology, and here's my favorite part about it. Okay, all of the Norse gods that you encounter, they all have Scottish accents, and I don't know why. Uh, because. Uh, BBC. What okay. BBC has taught us that all of mythology is oh, that from BBC. the UK. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, the other one we're not talking about. Right, right. right. And then we can talk about whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the other one what? Don't Nothing. worry about it. We'll tell you when you're older. Yeah. <laughs> don't Google that, Clues. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know what I would be Googling. I'm Excellent. so confused right now. For the best. All right. Um, right. I had, oh, maybe you guys or someone in chat can help me. You know what I want? You what guys, you, really, you guys really know want? those, uh, the, that was easy button from Staples. Yeah. 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 I want one of those, but when I hit it, it says bruh. And I just want a bruh button for streaming. You, you could get that. 
I, I tried. I couldn't find one anywhere that wasn't a sketchy website that I'm pretty sure would take my money and then never send me a thing. Um, you okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Website. Time out. Time out. A couple yes, of sir. things. Yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not having a stroke. First of all, apparently a reference went by that I'm still confused about that everyone told me not to Google. And I literally don't know if something was said out loud or typed in the chat. Or related. Great. Okay, yeah, I, I said, what do BBCs have to do with? Oh, other BBC. Okay, all right. So it was a BBC <laughs> reference. Great. Fine. Yeah. Don't care. I've I've seen it. Look, I've got a story. No, never mind. <laughs> I've seen... I've seen enough things in my life that I don't need to go looking for stuff that's going to traumatize me is what I'm going to say there. That's all you need to know. All right. Um, The other thing is just a moment ago, you started to talk about the Staples easy button and then you said something while I was reading the chat and I missed it completely. I would like, what is it that you want one that does? I want a button that I can push that will say, bruh. I would like a bruh button. That, that's it? You just want it to say bruh? Yeah, I just want to, I can reach over and hit and it'll go bruh. And that's that's all I want. I want a bruh button right. for streaming. Do so you, when something stupid you... happens or when some jackass is in the chat or something, I can just look at the camera and hit the button. All right. Uh, do you uh, want a project or do you just want this product already to be built? I mean, ideally already built, but. Because I feel like what you need is a Raspberry Pi. I, I definitely do not need a Raspberry Pi. That is such we, a we, nerd we can reply. Totally make that work. <laughs> like for for real though, if you actually just want to buy one, uh, marketing websites have been making those things. Like the places that supply tchotchkes and stuff for conferences have been making those for years, and you can just upload a wave file and they'll put whatever you want on it. You just would probably be paying more than you'd like to for exactly one of them because usually that's done in like fifty plus shipments. I mean, I'll, I can consider buying them in bulk. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, too. But, like, yeah, that's something that's been done forever. You know, now that I think about it, I think you can do this with something even less than a, than a Raspberry Pi. I think any there are a bunch of devices on, like, a root that look, you can Look at the, the size of the link in chat that Al just dropped. Jesus Christ, uh, That Al. has a sufficient amount of tracking that I'm pretty sure we can hack your Amazon account now. Should I follow this link, or is it BBC-related? Well, no, it's, it's, it's an Amazon link to a button where you can record your own thing. Oh. Great. So it's, what you're saying is I could just buy this it. and then make it say, bruh. Probably. All right. I'm going to follow. This it would link. be you saying it though. So that's personalized. Yeah. I don't, I don't want me saying it though. I need, oh, but I guess I can put whatever button. I want on it. I like how I lean down and then I just sink in the cameras. So now I'm sitting up properly again. <laughs> and it's <laughs> like streaming to fix your posture. It's 7% off right now. Look at that. Seven whole percent. Yeah. yeah. That's in line with avoiding taxes. And, and, but it's a tax write-off, so if you can get one, that's slightly more expensive. <laughs> so how how long does it That is not record? how write-offs work. Don't do that. It'll record up to 30 seconds. Okay, let's see what the reviews are like. How many, of these, reviews, how many of these reviews are fake? Uh, 80%. Well, the um, first one star I see is, This buzzer is too small for the price, and it, apostrophe S, plastic, is like something from a dollar capitalized store. I'd send it back, but I needed it for a family reunion game day. This button to small. This this but this buzzer is to small. Uh, they did not complete the analogy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got the price of admission right there in the comment section. Hey, uh, uh, it's his. Someone's wife took it to work and has placed it on her desk. It's a great stress sliver. Sliver. Saliver, S E L I V E R. Oh. Saliver. Like stress sliver sounds like it would make all the other slivers on edge. Uh, one would think. Um, <laughs> it is exactly what I expected. Ow. So, um, Pinball, have you seen the video of the girl who beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1 using a DDR mat? That was Seriously? pretty impressive. Yeah, she did it. Jesus. Um, like, she defeated Sephiroth, entirely controlling Kingdom Hearts 1 with a DDR mat. It was pretty cool. She, the question like, is, streamed... was she dancing? <laughs> I mean, to the extent that you're moving around on a DDR pad, like, it's not really dancing in my experience, but it's what you're doing. Hmm. But, um, like, she was fighting Sephiroth on hard mode and beat him using just the DDR pad. And, like, 
she streamed the thing for hours before she got it right. So YouTube has like the clip of the final one, but like you know it's not weird and edited or anything because like you can just if you feel the need to go dig it out of Twitch or something, you can find the whole thing and see how many times she died trying. But it's something. Whoa, whoa! Someone beat Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero controller? Oh yeah. I mean, it's I can't even get Guitar Hero with a Guitar Hero controller. Yeah, if you if you get it set up right, you can just smash it with a Guitar Hero controller, no problem. <laughs> it's not gonna move. Oh my! And then God. after you hit it, it's definitely not gonna move. So, uh, I got I got a I got a VR headset. Yeah, yeah, I heard that you sold your soul to Meta. Yeah, I how'd mean, that go? Uh, it's it's pretty neat. <laughs> Have you been trapped in it? Uh, Are no, we communicating no. with you for real, or is this like a fake thing that you did to pull us in? What, do I need to log headphones? in? Do I need to log in to hear more conversation with you? Uh, that's no, how, but if, that's you, how Facebook if you subscribed, I would really appreciate it. But I think you didn't. You do that already, like not long ago. I did. I can't resub yet. So yeah, yeah. I remember I'll, seeing your I'll name pop you know. up randomly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's I, I got I got Beat Saber, so I can. I can exercise, and then I got I got a boxing game called Thrill of the Fight that I can't play because I get gassed out and think I'm gonna die. I mean, that means VR is doing its job. Uh, yeah, I think that means that I'm I'm boxing properly, like anyone who doesn't know how to box. But the game that I put the most time in is a game that shouldn't be good. It's Zombie Land Headshot Fever, which sounds like. A shitty cash in but sure it's does. actually a game that's all about like doing runs on levels to get better time because when you double tap a zombie in the head time slows down and so you're trying to extend your combo so that you get a better time that's the the main point is better does time. it have twinkies as a power up uh not that i've seen unfortunately because you're not playing as Woody Harrelson's character, although he is right there. Mm. He's the one that you go for your loadout. Uh, I feel like we're missing out if we don't get to be Tallahassee. But Yeah, you're I guess uh, and we couldn't see Tallahassee, so maybe it's worthwhile. Exactly. You're you're a I new guy. I also never saw the sequel, invaded. so I don't know how well this is aged. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see the sequel. I heard it from enough people that it me. wasn't worth like, I was still disappointed enough left over from the Amazon pilot that I decided I'm probably done with that franchise. Unless yeah. someone tells me it's good. But the, it's it's a lot of fun. And I, I've put, like I said, a lot of time in the damn thing. And it's ridiculous. You all right, Clues? Well, um... So Al dropped a, a different button in the uh, in the chat, a link to one. And I'm, I'm, I'm on Amazon and I'm reading about that. And someone has asked the question, how big is this? Would a very small dog be able to press it? The answer given that has been upvoted is, it's about three inches across. It is sensitive to the touch. So I belongs a small dog could activate it. Don't you I, love the world where people's phones change what they're writing to other words? And then they just post it anyway. And they just <laughs> totally post it anyway, that. yeah. I belongs. Stress sliver. I stress or maybe Celiver. I don't know how you pronounce it. What is the country of origin, please? Uh. <laughs> Could you use it in a sentence? Exactly. Celiver sounds like a fantasy world. It does, yeah. You also Celiver have people beating like the weird punch out trilogy. nation that is somehow also frozen and tropical because you have to get multiple biomes into one place. I don't read enough fantasy, apparently. <laughs> I mean, you might just read good fantasy. That's probably what it is. Because, like, I'm, I'm mostly thinking of the old tropes in video games where they have to have, like, the ice zone and the lava zone and the beach zone. And so you end up with this weird island that could not exist anywhere on any planet that's bigger than, like, 80 feet around. So. <laughs> yeah. Infinius mentioned people beating the Punch Out trilogy blindfolded. What trilogy? Do you mean Punch Out Wii? 
for the third game? Because I know beating the original Blindfolded has been a thing for a while now. And I assume if you can beat the first one, you can beat uh, Super Punch-Out. Presumably. Blindfolded. Like, I beat Super Punch-Out the first time that I booted up the uh, uh, the SNES Classic on stream. Just, I was like, let's play this. And then I just played it all the way through and beat it. It's on YouTube. Checks out. But like, and I hadn't played it in years and years, and I still just remembered it. The muscle memory kicked in, and it was glorious. So I'm pretty sure if you practice, you could do it blindfolded too. Infinity says yes. Wow, I never even finished Punch Out on the Wii because I just, I just didn't for no reason. I think my patience with the Wii went down the more games I played. Like I started out okay with the Wii. Because I played through Twilight Princess on it, which, like, yeah, ultimately it was a GameCube game. But I had it on the Wii, so I played it on the Wii. And I played Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles and had fun with that. And I played, like, one or two other games along the way. But then I kind of reached this point about Metroid Prime 3, where I'm like, man, I'm working really, really hard for this game to not be very good. And I know a lot of people like the Wii controls for the Metroid Prime games when they released the trilogy. I did not. And the lack of a controller option made me not finish Metroid Prime 3 or even start Other M, even though apparently that's a blessing. Um, I don't know. Like, I just, I got really, really sick of the Wii controls and I used the Wii as a GameCube for a while. But it constantly pissed me off because I had to have a Wii mote to get past the opening screen to play GameCube games. Because God forbid the button on the GameCube count. Um, so that was about that. Yeah, this Christmas, I actually took the Wii to the parents' house and gave it to the old man along with a couple of fishing games. Ooh, Wii fishing. Because he had asked me a while back, are there any fishing games on the GameCube? And I went, hell, I don't know. So I looked it up because I have the entire internet and the sum of all human knowledge in the palm of my hand. So I looked it up and I was like, apparently there were two. One was pretty okay and the other one was... Moderately okay, huh? And so I went to a local used game shop to find either one, and there weren't any. But there were several Wii fishing games. So because I have the internet and the sum total of all human knowledge right here in the palm of my hand, I googled good Wii fishing games. And I found a website whose whole deal was reviewing fishing games for different consoles. And I went, huh. And they were like, there were a lot of fishing games on the Wii. But here are the three that we think are the best. And two of them were right there in front of me. And I went. Okay. So I bought them. And decided I'll just give the Wii to the old man. Because my Wii had been sitting there not even plugged in for years. (laughs) I, I feel like fishing games are one of those things that... Dedicated fishing game? Probably great. You're playing a JRPG, so we put a fishing minigame in it. You're going to hate it. Because <laughs> JRPGs greatly have fishing games that suck in them. But Japan still wants them, so they keep putting them in. Um, the fishing minigame was the most miserable part of Final Fantasy XV, other than the way that it just ran off a cliff about two-thirds. Um, the fishing minigame and Twilight Princess, which was, again, was coded for a GameCube, was pretty miserable on the Wii. <laughs> um, not a fan of that. Just in general, they always feel tacked on for me. Apparently, they just added fishing to Skyrim. Like, Wait the new version of Skyrim actually has new content. You believe that? Huh. Uh, suspicious. Ah, uh, no. Dirk told me that, and I was like, What? Like, they added new stuff? He went, yeah. I was like, why don't they just make a new game? No. (laughs) They will not. You go back over there, and you wait for anything to come out of Valve with a three on it. Right? (laughs) Anything at all. That is legitimately another reason that I'm happy that I have a VR headset now, is at some point, once I play Half-Life and Half-Life 2, I can play Half-Life... 2 episode 1, Half-Life 2 episode 2, and then play Alex. Because like you said, nothing involving the number 3 is allowed. Nope. 
I'm pretty sure Valve is the reason we haven't had World War III and also the reason why you only get two terms as president. It's all Valve. <laughs> all the way through. Uh, this goes deep, man. This goes real yeah. deep. Uh, speaking of VR, I've got the uh, the PlayStation VR for my PS4. Yeah, you do. Um, and if you want it to work on your PS5, there's an adapter you have to get because there's a port that was on the back of the PS4 that connected the PlayStation camera, which watches where ah. the VR headset is in space. And that port doesn't exist on the PS5. So you've got yeah, to get a special doodad. Um, but PlayStation knew this, of course. Sony knew this. And they're like, hey, there's a form. Fill out this form. We'll just send you one. And so I filled out the form and I had them send it to me. And I didn't play anything on the VR even after it came for, you know, months. Yeah. But last week, I finally decided, okay, fine, let's hook up the, the PlayStation VR and let's, no, it's two weeks ago, and let's uh, let's give this a shot. Let's see what's going on here. And uh, there are only a couple of VR things that I've played. Most of them have gone pretty well. There was a, a Spider-Man Far From Home VR experience where you kind of swing around and do some stuff, and it, it was kind of cool. It, it worked fine. I mean, controls were a little janky, but this still... Is based on Far from home? Far from home, yes. So you're not... in Europe? Uh, no. But you're wearing the suit from Far From Home. Okay. And I, I think they did one with uh, Homecoming that I didn't download, and I think they've got one for uh, No Way Home that I also didn't. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so I did it. It was fine. You know, no no, no big problem. You know, some of the VR things I've tried have been pretty good. Some have been kind of eh, but eh, yeah. they've, they've been okay. But then a buddy of mine said, hey, I know you've been playing Minecraft. Did you know that there's a Minecraft VR? And if you have Minecraft, you can just download. It just goes. Just plug it in and go. And so I'm like, really? well, that sounds cool. I'll try the Minecraft VR. I went from zero to motion sick in about two seconds. It's I mean, it was you don't have cube eyes clues. Absolutely like the most... <clears throat> It was the worst I, I have ever had in, in VR. I've had a few things that I'm like, you know, after 10 or 15 minutes, I'm feeling, oh, not great. No, no, this one, like two minutes, and I felt like crap the rest of the day. I don't know what it is about how they did perspective or movement in the, the Minecraft VR, but, oh, I can't do it. I Maybe just like can't do it. The normal game where they just slap textures on boxes and don't at all account for the fact that you're in VR. It's, it's possible that they've got something about depth wrong or yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'm not willing it's to go back. It's actually really hard to do out. VR in a way that doesn't make people sick. So if they're phoning it in, it's going to show. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they phoned this in. That's too bad. Cause I wanted to know what it was like to confront a creeper in VR, but I guess clues can't tell us. I mean, you could go I to can, VR chat for that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, someone in the Discord was like, you should get VR chat. And then Clues, not Clues, uh, Gothic popped up and said, no, no, you should never, ever do that. I mean, you absolutely shouldn't. I was talking about a different kind of creeper. Oh, I thought you meant someone had like a creeper scan in VR chat. Oh, I mean, maybe. I'm never going into VR chat. <laughs> Are you and kidding? Then, That's a chat room, but with people. Like, like no. I asked Gothic outside of the Discord. I was like, why? And he started explaining it. And I went, ah. The only thing I really know about it was that it was overrun with Ugandan knuckles. And I'm good. I'm good with not that. Yeah, I can I can see that. I don't even know what that means. I mean so... from like three or four years ago. Yeah, it was it's a you know Sonic? The 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 weird looking hand drawn Sonic meme thing. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah, like yeah. it's sorta of like that, but it's knuckles and it's bizarre and all right then it just became this weird thing where people would load up a knuckles avatar and they would run around repeating the same two or three phrases at people and then making clicking noises at them and being awful yeah yeah wait 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 you're telling me that something on the internet that involves strangers interacting with each other and some of them are jackasses yeah wow except a lot of them are jackasses because they would move as a herd And I bet they didn't even do the the dance like you see at cons with, from the Dark Souls animation thing and all of the Spider-Men. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty funny the first time you see it. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. That's funny the first time you see it. It's okay, Clues. It, it's, it's I was, I was just waiting for it. It sounded like he was pausing and that there was going to be more after <laughs> that. But no? Okay. All right. 
It's right. just a dumb thing that was really funny the first time I saw it. And then, like everything else, after you see it more than a few times, it's not fun anymore. I see. So, great. All right. 